Hi everyone, how you doing? Kind of snuck up on me there a little bit. As you can see, I am doing a few things on the digger. Um, today is hopefully the day the mate is going to come and take a look at her and see if she's uh, repairable, let's say. I'm hoping, I am really hoping that this geezer is going to be able to fix this. Right, we'll move this into place if it moves. Right, we've got the glow plug light on, which is a good start. That's out. Now let's see if she goes. Mechanically speaking, there ain't nothing wrong with her. She starts up first time perfectly, so I'm happy with that. I'm going to move it into a position that I think will look good and also... Cool, a bit loud, hold on. I'm going to move it into a position where I think uh, matey can get to it. She stopped there, didn't get very far. For those of you who don't know what's up with it, let me just quickly show you. This track here, every time I pull the lever, it doesn't move at all. As you can see, I've lifted the whole body up with the bucket and the little bulldozer blades there. So everything's off the ground. Possibility that the track might be a bit loose, but I don't see why that wouldn't stop it from turning. Because as you can see, it that's the only amount that it moves and I'm moving it the full width of the stick. And I think there's something wrong with this. Oh, hello, spider. Cool, that was a big one. The size of that. It's a black mamba. I haven't got a clue what that is. It's just a house spider. Anyway, I think there's something wrong with this, but then again, what the hell do I know? I'm neither a mechanic nor a digger driver. I can drive diggers, but I don't know anything about them. So hence why I rung up mate you to see if you can come and have a look. So I'll put it in position. He can get all around here. The whole thing can spin around. I'll probably cut that bit of tree off just because it's in the way okay so that is that done with the digger for the moment i have just had a text message from the guy he's coming at one o'clock today and he's currently about 10 o'clock so we've got a couple of hours to uh, to burn before he gets here so what i'm going to do is we're going back over to the house and i have a little bit of lead left over that i'm going to try and put up the front dormer see how much we have left because i need to go to the builders merchants and get some bits now they're saying that they can do either deliveries, which take a week to get here, which I'm not waiting a week for a delivery, or I can do a click and collect. So I basically ring them up, order it, and go and pick it up. So I'm gonna see how much lead I need, and then I'll go and get some battens as well, because we need to put battens around the, uh, all the dormers so we can get that cladding up here, because this I just wanna get this smashed out. So that's the plan. First off, lead. Let's see what we got. I'm just going to quickly do this off camera because a it'll be a lot quicker for me to do it and b i've made videos about me doing the lead work so we don't really need another part of that plus i need the speed done because matey is going to be turning up soon well okay that is the lead work done and i'll tell you what perfect timing the man is here so hopefully fingers crossed we can get some good news on the digger but anyway i've done this bit of lead so i'm gonna go and speak to my man and i will get back to you Hopefully I'll show you something of what's going on, but it's all dependent on whether he wants me on camera or not. So, see you guys in a minute. As you can see, we've got the track off the digger. My man doesn't particularly want to be on camera, so I'm going to do it as best I can in bits and pieces. But we've got the track off. He is reckoning that this motor here, it does work and it doesn't work sometimes. We've got 
a, a clip off, I don't even know what it's called, a clip off the front here. We need to try and take this out because he reckons it might just be a bearing that's gone. It might just need some, might just need some oil because we checked to see if it was this one that sees up, but that, that rolls free. That's just the one that keeps the track in place. So this motor here, it does go, um, but he's, he's reckoning that, yeah, we're gonna try and take this front cap off, see if it might just need some oil because it might have just seized up. Um, but it might just be a bearing. He doesn't, rec he reckons if we're lucky enough, it might not be the pump. It might just need a couple of bearings and that's it. So fingers crossed. That is, we could do with a bit of luck on this. So she's looking a bit worse for wear at the moment, but hopefully, hopefully we're gonna get this sorted. Bit of oil, new bearings hopefully, and then that's it, we're uh, good to go. But like I said, a man doesn't particularly wanna be on camera, which is fair enough. So I will come back to you as and when I can and show you the progress. the digger we have her back we have her working to a point she is all good she is all good let me explain to you what the problem was all we did was this little nobble here took that out and put some oil in it that was it that was basically it that's the short story the main story is the bearings are completely shot in here the pump works, the motor works, so it actually does turn, well obviously, but there is a seal on the back side of this section here. So there's a seal in here, in between this and the front, and basically that seal has completely gone. It's completely cooked. So what happens, all the oil that you put in here, it comes out behind the cog. Can't really see you there, can't really show you because it's behind there. But basically all the oil had gone out and, and he was saying that it probably taken about 10, 15 years for all the oil to go out. Um, I have never filled this up with oil. I didn't know it needed oil until today. He was saying that because that is cooked, what you should do is replace the seal and you need new bearings. He said, but you don't have to do that. He said, because you, you just want to use this to, to get this house done, get these houses done. He said, this could probably last for a couple of years. So he said, one suggestion, the best thing to do is to take off this here, this uh, Allen key nut, and replace that with like a grease nipple, because in here, you pour oil. Now, the oil does come out the back, and he's saying if you did it with grease, there's less likely chance of it coming out where the seal's broken, and it's more likely to stop the, the bearings from getting even more damaged than they already are, and season up and stop them completely. So he said, pump it full of grease. So that is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm going to get one of those grease nipples, I'm going to replace that with that and pump it full of grease. He said, just pump it so much it comes out the back and then at least that way it's going to keep going, keep going. Because essentially that's all it was, it dried up, there was no oil in there. The other side, we'll check the other side as well, there's plenty of oil in that side. So we're good, the digger is back, oh, I'm so goddamn happy driving around having a good time with it, perfect. I've also filled her up with uh, diesel, full tank of diesel, full tank of hydraulic oil. The funny thing is the, the hydraulic oil leak that I thought I had before, it seems to have stopped, so I'm not complaining. She's working. Right, this is another thing. I think in celebration, I should have named her to start with a long time ago. Can we have names? Down in the comments, I want some names for the digger. Doesn't have to be female. I've always seen cars or whatever with female names, but Whatever you want. I am a big fan of pun-based names, so if you can think of a pun-based name for the digger, we'll go with that. But yeah, let me know down in the comments. It'd be really good to hear from you. It's taken us a little bit longer to get it fixed than I had hoped, so today is essentially over. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back to you tomorrow. I have ordered the battens and I've ordered the lead for the roof. So basically, Holly's also gonna help me tomorrow. So in this video, you will see Holly as well. So what I'll do is I'll leave it here for a second. I will flash you forward to tomorrow and see you in a jiffy. Okay, we're back. It's the next day and I say we because... Hello, Holly. Hi. Holly is straight away on the digger. She is back. Where have you been? In bed. Why have you been in bed? Because I was poorly. Okay. <laughs> Holly hasn't been feeling very well for the past week or so, so that's why you haven't seen her. First off, Holly's going to move the digger because she hasn't had a go on it now that it's working. I will have to check the oil in it and uh, once she's moved it, but... 
we're gonna get her to move that out of the way first. All right, off you go. She remember. Oh, she's got to remember how to use it. But then basically we're gonna be getting all the cladding on the dormers of the lead work done. Let's move this out of the way first. Right, we'll let Holly move this out of the way and then we'll be good to go. Yeah, that'll do ya. Yeah, if you turn the key, I'll turn it off. <laughs> you like that digger, don't you? How did you find it driving? Obviously better than before because it worked. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bit of a stupid question for me to ask. Right, as I was saying before, we need to do a little bit of lead on the dormers to get it done. The last two little bits, which shouldn't take long. Then we're going to get some battens, put them down the sides either sides of there and there and then we're going to have that cladding that's out the front and gets get smashing on that hopefully we can do it today are you feeling confident no oh well that's a, we lost there straight away yeah okay we're going to do as much as we can today you might be able to but i've got work at three so. oh okay so holly's only with us till three i better use you as much as i possibly can until three o'clock then not like that everyone thinks Everyone proper thinks we're a dirty pair of people, don't they? Come on. Let's anyway, right, we've got some work to do. What we're probably going to do is do the little bit of lead on the sides here and just come back to you. We're not going to film it because well, we've seen enough lead. So I'll come back to you when that lead's done and we're getting on with the battening out for all of the cladding. It's cladding down here. This is the stuff that's going in. So we're going to do that and we'll come back to you shortly. Well, okay, so I've done the lead. Didn't bother filming it, but it is up here. All panitation, all up, all good. As you can see, I've started making, I've made a start on the um, on the battening out for all the cladding. I think I've got it somewhat in the right plan. Obviously got the corner piece on the end here and then 400, roughly 400 centers to the rest of the battens. And I have put some batten down the bottom here. I've tried to leave gaps for air because there are some, it does need airflow behind it. I might, I might rethink this a little bit because the first, oh Christ, I've fallen off the bloody roof. The first, sort of cut is going to be a tiny little cut down here and then there's a second cut that comes along here so that first one I'm hoping it will hold in with one nail in that button there and then the second one should just get on here and then from there the rest of them should be all good so I think I do need a line of batten down here but I don't want it solid all the way through so I can have airflow coming through so I think this is pretty much the size of what I'm doing obviously there's going to be it at the top there I'm actually running low on screws, so I need to pop down the road and get some screws. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to have some lunch and also charge my battery. Uh, much to the dismay of a few of you, unfortunately, Holly won't be in the rest of the video. Um, when she said she was ill, she wasn't ill, not like coronavirus or anything. She had like a sciatic nerve was trapped or something along those lines. And she was in a great deal of pain. So she's sort of been in bed on painkillers for the past week or so. And she didn't want to go too mad, stretching out too much, just in case it sort of came back again. Yeah. Anyway, I'm waffling a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I will charge all this up, charge my batteries up, go and get some more screws, come back, and then I will finish this off and hopefully have it looking pucker and smart. Got the battens on. I only bought one pack of battens. I thought one pack would be enough for the front and the back. I've only done the front. I haven't, I haven't added any of the cladding. So Holly, she was right there earlier where I said, oh, we'll get it all done today. It didn't happen. So I've got battens at the front done. I need to get some more battens to do the back, but this is gonna be enough for today. Uh, tomorrow, it will be Friday. Tomorrow and Saturday, I have got another job to do. I'll leave, I'll leave it there, I'll leave it a bit of a suspense. So the next video, see out, the next vlog will be my Friday and Saturday. So yeah, that'll pretty much do it for today. There's just one thing, those bits of timber along there, I'm not sure if they're in the right place, so it might need to go down or up, but also I don't know if this is gonna be enough ventilation, so I'm gonna get a wood bit and drill some holes through all of these so that it gets enough ventilation in there. And the, the video that I watched said you're supposed to have a 10 mil gap at the top. So I've left a little 10 mil gap at the top there. So there should be enough ventilation to go through there. But apart from that, all of them are ready to go. I've only put the corner piece on that one. The rest of it's down there. But I'll do that when it comes to me actually putting the cladding on. So hopefully I'll be putting the cladding on on Monday. If I can't get another load of battens 
on Monday. I will do the cladding at the front and then order the battens and get that for the back. Anyway, one quick question I'd like to ask you guys before I let you go. So I'm at the back of the house now and there's this massive hole which would be the soak away. So all this is going to go in there for the soak away. My question is, do I actually need to use a cage? I've been told that I need to use a cage, but in my, I have never used one in my life. Um, my short amount of research that I've done says that you need a cage for uh, if you have difficulty getting rid of standing water or it puddles or something like that. But in this area, I have never in my life had any trouble getting rid of water. So in my opinion, I don't think I need to use a cage. But if anyone out there is a planning inspector or uh, an architect or something like that and knows a bit more, or builders or, or anyone out there who knows a little bit more about cages than I do, please do let me know down in the comments. It would be greatly appreciated. Okay, so that'll be the end of the vlog. That's another day done. Um, like I said, uh, got some stuff coming up for the next couple of days. It'll be an interesting vlog as well. So we'll leave it there for today. So please do leave a like down below if you've enjoyed this episode. Subscribe if you aren't already. Ring the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. That being said, I will see you guys and gals in the next one. So take care. I'll see you then. Ta-ra.